have an opinion on just about everything that I'm aware of, which I guess is true for most people. If I don't have an opinion on a certain subject, I try to study it and form an opinion. However, there are some things that I have thought about and still think about a lot, and yet I don't really have an opinion on them. Usually because I'm not entirely sure if one side of the dilemma sounds more correct than the other, or because I don't feel like there is enough evidence to support a solid conviction, or because there are a lot of theories that are plausible so I can't logically settle on just the one when there are so many other options that also could be true, or some other reason. Some of these things are quite serious, others not so much. So I figured why don't I puke some of these up onto YouTube? I'm going to start with something relatively simple, which is the idea of liking something that you don't really understand. Now, when I say something you don't really understand, that could refer to a lot of different things, from jokes that have layers that you don't really get because you don't have a deep enough understanding of certain subjects, to art that comes from cultures that you're not familiar with, but what I want to talk about today is the idea of liking something in a language that you don't actually know. And while there is undoubtedly some jerk on the internet currently saying, well, just learn languages, you dumb fuck, it's impossible to learn every language in the world, so it's probable that sooner or later you will run into art that you like in a language that you don't actually know. This is something that I've thought about a lot throughout my life. I've always been kind of apprehensive about watching TV shows and movies in translation, or listening to music in a language that I don't know. I remember having a conversation about this with my father when I was quite young, and he said, I don't really understand what the problem is. I mean, I like that Emma Dale's song, and I don't understand a word of it. A what song? Well, you know, Amadeus, 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 Amadeus. My father wouldn't actually do that. He rarely moved without necessity. But anyway, the point is that a lot of people don't have an issue with enjoying art in a language they don't understand. A lot of people love k-pop or j-pop and they don't understand the lyrics they just like the music and the choreography and the meanings of the songs is just something that they don't consider as part of the experience which is perfectly fine you know i don't think there's anything wrong with enjoying music in that way but i personally feel kind of apprehensive about listening to music with lyrics that i don't get now some people compare listening to music in a foreign language to listening to instrumental music, but I don't think that's quite the same, because with instrumental music, you are getting the whole picture. Whereas when you're listening to a song with lyrics that you don't get, the lyrics are still there. You just don't get them. And you might be listening to an artist that perpetuates ideas that you might find abhorrent. Or you might be dancing around to a song about cannibalism or something, and you don't even know. I eat humans, 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 Now, I'm not saying that you can't enjoy art that is problematic. I guess most art in the world is in some way problematic, and there's almost nothing that will fit your belief system perfectly, especially if your belief system is complex and extensive, but there is a difference between enjoying something problematic by choice, when you know what it is that you're signing up for, and having no idea what it is you're supporting. Hey. Do you know this song you're listening to is about skinning kittens alive? What? Oh my god, that's horrible! Hey, do you know this song you're listening to is about skinning kittens alive? Yeah, I mean that's bad and all, but... I'm wearing leather shoes and there's a fur trim on my coat. 
I'm literally wearing a bunch of skinned animals. So a song about a few skinned kittens isn't much worse now, is it? Fair point. Now, completely not understanding what you're listening to is not the only option. There is also the option of watching or listening to something that has been translated. And I guess as most people who watch TV shows and movies and foreign languages will know, translation is not always reliable. And I'm not just talking about like bad acting in a dub, I mean straight up wrong translation that you might not even realize is wrong if you don't know the language of the original. Now, I could make a whole fucking series on the Russian translation of Friends. But I'm going to give you what is perhaps my absolute favorite example of a horrific translation. Remember that scene in the last episode where Phoebe is trying to get Rachel to get off the plane? So she says she has a feeling that there's something wrong with the left phalange. Something is wrong with the left phalange. And then there's this whole scene about how everyone starts to panic about something being wrong with the phalange and everyone is getting off the plane and the flight attendants have to pretend that the phalanges have been checked. Now, in the Russian translation, everything is the same, except instead of phalange, they say fuselage. Which is an actual fucking part of a plane! It's basically the whole plane, actually. So when the people on the plane are starting to lose their shit about something being wrong with the fuselage, well, they fucking should, shouldn't they? And then, of course, the culmination when one of the flight attendants finally loses it and tells one of the passengers, Sir, there is no phalange. And he goes, What? There isn't even a phalange? In the Russian version, the flight attendant says, There is no fuselage. And all the way through, there is a laugh track that is suggesting that this is all somehow utterly hilarious. Now imagine watching that with no knowledge of English and no way of understanding what the original actually says. That is why I don't watch anime. Even though I have a great respect for the medium and there's a whole bunch of shows that I'd like to watch, I just can't really rely on the translation. I mean, I know these days anime is really well translated and even when it's not there are great fan translations out there but I just can't ever really be sure. My vocals teacher wanted me to perform an aria in Italian. I said sure but first I'm gonna have to translate every single word and try to understand precisely what it is I'm singing and she thought that was kind of weird and unnecessary because you know there are opera singers everywhere singing in Italian and a lot of them don't understand Italian at all. And that's fair enough, but I just don't feel comfortable singing in a language that I don't understand, especially since I have seen singers perform in languages that they don't know and just completely mess up the feeling of the song. Strangers in the night! So I've always more or less avoided art and entertainment in languages that I don't understand. However, about a year and a half ago, maybe two years now, I started learning Japanese. Now, it's not because I like Japan or its culture or anime or manga, I just like the language. And I figured it would be fun for an over-30 dyslexic with pathologically bad memory to learn a language with one of the most difficult and convoluted writing systems in the world. And because, among other things, I'm using YouTube to study the language, YouTube naturally started suggesting me things about Japan. And I kind of avoided it for a while, but eventually I gave in, and I actually got into a couple of really nice YouTubers this way. But also, it started suggesting me songs and theatrical performances and other entertainment, and I resisted for a while, but eventually I gave in, and that stuff kind of tends to snowball. You know, you listen to a couple of songs, watch a couple of music videos, and before you know it, you're watching a two-hour stage musical, and you have no fucking idea what's going on, but you're loving it. And I mean, with a short song, generally, I can figure out the lyrics with the dictionary, but when you're watching a stage play or a movie, especially when translation isn't available at all, then you pretty much 
don't understand anything. It's not even that you have to rely on a potentially bad translation, you just got nothing. And honestly, to this day, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this. I mean, if I'm watching a musical and I only understand like 20% of the lyrics, is that okay? I mean, I like the music and the costumes and the choreography and the physical comedy and the acting, but I don't actually understand what's being said. And I mean, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with enjoying art in this way, I just mean that I I am not sure how I personally feel about myself enjoying art in this way. Because on the one hand, I'm getting enjoyment out of it. It's bringing positivity into my life. But on the other hand, there is a real possibility that if I did know what was being said, I would absolutely hate it. And what if someday my language skills improve to a point where I'm able to understand this thing that I've been enjoying all along and it turns out that there's a whole bunch of stuff in there that I find offensive or morally reprehensible, how will I feel? Would I be able to appreciate the positivity that it had given me at the time when I enjoyed it in this superficial manner? Or would I hate the fact that I ever enjoyed or supported it and any positivity that it had given me would be tainted? And I am, of course, only talking about my own relationship with this dilemma because I don't think that a right or wrong answer even exists in this situation in general. I don't think it can be concluded that no one should enjoy art and language that they don't understand or that everyone should. I think it's all very personal and dependent on each individual's emotions and priorities, which is precisely why this is one of those things that I have a lot of thoughts on but no real opinion. I don't think that a right answer exists. I think that every person will have a different answer or no answer at all. So please feel free to share your thoughts and feelings in the comments if you feel like it. Let me know if you feel uncomfortable not knowing the language of the content that you consume or if you don't care or if you think I'm just an obnoxious weirdo who overanalyzes completely irrelevant and consequential shit. If you have a different perspective on the subject, I would love to hear that. I am always excited for a new perspective. Thank you for watching.